So we got given the task one lesson to um, kind of create a um, piece of drama of how to build a Macbeth was the title we were given. Um, we weren't kind of given much structure as to what to do, that was kind of the main thing. Um, I guess it was a little bit to do with kind of like the ingredients that goes into him um, and kind of what he's all about. So in our group, we decided to go with um, kind of a bit like Good Morning Show um, and have like the baking um, part of it. So there'd be like an interview with Shakespeare about what he'd want to go into or into Macbeth. Um, and then it would cut over to the baking part of it in which um, they'd kind of be cooking him, I guess, um, adding all the ingredients that Shakespeare had said. Um, and then eventually um, Macbeth would come out. Um, I feel like we didn't do it as well as possibly we could have done. Um, we spent a long time kind of arguing what we were meant to be doing and um, figuring out everything. Um, so while we were given an hour or two to do it, we ended up with almost a four minute piece that a lot a lot of it was kind of improvised as we went along. We didn't fully know what we were doing for all of it. So while we knew a few, a few lines, um, most of which were quotes anyway, um, we didn't fully kind of do what we initially set out to do. Um, I feel like we strayed a little bit from the idea as well. So for the, for the first half of the whole thing, it was just the interview with Shakespeare. Um, I feel like that was drawn out a bit too long um, because Izzy kept saying all these kind of different quotes that might that was about Macbeth but I don't think that worked very well and a lot of people um, were barely even paying attention to it with kind of the freeze frame on the other half of the stage um, and it was quite hard to listen to anyway just because there are all these quotes in Shakespearean that not many people understood kind of being said one after another so I feel like we could have cut that down quite a lot and then when it went over to the other side, it was kind of the witches being witchy, um, putting all the ingredients in. Um, and Peter was kind of like the main one, um, but he had quite like this screechy voice, which was hard to understand a lot of the time. Um, and with me being stood right next to him, it kind of hurt my ears as well a bit. Um, I feel like that definitely could have changed just so you could fully understand him. Um, I wasn't quite witchy enough. I feel like um, just because partially I was a little bit awkward but I definitely need to work on that especially if we're going to do something like that and I'd have to play a witch um, and then Joel just wasn't he didn't feel like he was fully part of it I guess um, and then after that we just kind of went on to tell the rest of the story of Macbeth with um, someone persuading him to kill someone and then them dying as well and getting escorted off the premises by a caesarean it just kind of it was very messy towards the end and we didn't really rehearse any of it it was all very much improvised as we were performing um as a group i don't think we worked together very well um because there were a few different contrasting ideas um for this one I think it was mainly because we had Peter and Izzy who were both very strong minded. Izzy very much for Shakespeare and understanding everything that he wanted to portray and Peter kind of against him not really thinking that Shakespeare did everything that people said he did. Um, so I feel like I definitely backed down quite a lot in this and kind of let other people kind of tell me what to do a bit um, just because of the character I was given as well I just felt a bit awkward with it all. Um, I think if I was to do it again I'd kind of cut out the idea of the whole good morning show in general and um, make it I guess a bit more of an advert I think because um, I feel like that could be more fun to make it kind of very quick paced and funny and kind of catching the audience's attention a bit more and then cut out the whole idea of what happened afterwards as well um, I think that'd be a lot more like eye-catching and intriguing just to have this kind of 30 second piece of 
all the ingredients that goes into Macbeth. Um, because then the audience are more likely to understand, I guess, as to what's going in. And rather than using all these quotes, maybe have one or two, but just kind of list what's going into him. Um, and that was very confusing, both while we were performing it and watching it back. Um, I think that was some of the feedback as well that we got from them. So I think overall, we definitely included all the ingredients that went into Macbeth, but we didn't kind of portray it as well as we could have. And as a group, we just didn't work together very well um, because there were all these contrasting ideas that were going on. Um, so I feel like if this kind of group is going to work together in the future, we definitely need to try and either create a buffer between the people that were arguing or um, just try and get them to calm down a bit and listen to each other and then we can all work together a little bit better in the future.